What's up, sports bettors? It's Matt Modi with Hodgetan. Uh, in this video, I got a player prop for the NHL game tomorrow between the Colorado Avalanche and the Edmonton Oilers that I really liked. Um, before I get started, I would appreciate if you could like the video and comment. Let me know if you're tailing. Let me know your feedback just in general. Uh, and then, of course, if you could subscribe to the Hodgetan YouTube channel. So all of the bets I get for hockey or for any other sport, I get from using the Odds Jam Positive Expected Value page. Uh, the way it works is the uh, lines you see here under the Odds Jam column is pulled from the most accurate bookmaker in the world. And anywhere in which we're getting more favorable odds on another sports book is going to have positive expected value associated with it. Of course, before uh, we can truly determine whether a bet is positive EV or not, we need to remove the VIG to see what the true odds of this bet are. Um, the VIG is essentially just the juice that sportsbooks press up odds themselves. It's how they make all their money. Uh, they they want to make sure they can get 50% uh, of the money on each side, and then they price up the odds a little bit, and they profit. It's, it's essentially the tax that they charge the odds themselves. So with the VIG removed, we can calculate what the true fair odds are for a specific play. So for this one here, just this first play, the true odds of this play are plus 123, and the bet is plus 150 on Caesars, which has roughly just under 12% positive EV associated with it. And this is actually the bet that I'm going to take, Nathan McKinnon to go over one and a half points. Um, this dude's a total stud. He's definitely the Avalanche's best player. Pretty sure he scored in the last game between um, the Avalanche had. Great. Great player. Um, so the bet, it's got the no big odds of plus 123. Uh, before I uh, officially decide whether I like a bet or not, I like to look at the market width. Um, this column is essentially a way in which to determine confidence in a line. Uh, lower numbers, the better. For a player prop, anything below 40 is a play. Uh, so this Nathan McKinnon one, it, McKinnon is well within range there, being 38 cents in market width. So let me go to Caesars, let me lock this in. Uh, for player props, I like to use the Kelly calculator. So if you click that, um, the calculator button, you see this information pull up. Uh, the odds that I'm betting it at, which is plus 150 on Caesars. The win percentage for this one, which is roughly 45%, gives me a fraction of my bankroll of roughly 4%. Now for player props, that's the max I'll go. Uh, the max I'll go for a game prop is 5% for a player prop. It's 4%. Uh, I like to actually set all my player props most mostly around 3% of my bankroll, but this is such an awesome play for math reasons and then also just for hockey reasons backing such a great player that um, it made sense to put the full 4% 4, 4 on it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this puppy in on Caesars, place bet, and we're good to go. So this is my official hockey bet for this game tomorrow. Now I just need to make sure I add it to my bet tracker. Uh, bet tracker is something that is completely free to use at Oddsjam. Um, you just go to oddsjam.com, bet tracker, bets, and it tracks all your bets for you. Uh, it's a really helpful tool. Like if I go to my dashboard, all this information comes from the bet tracker, total profit, uh, pending bets. It also auto grades your bets for you, which is nice. Uh, so like for me, I'm on the plus EV page taking bets just all the time as the day goes on. So it's nice that the uh, bet tracker auto grades my bets for me. Um, so definitely sign up for the bet tracker if you're not already signed up. And then everything will be tracked on this spreadsheet. Uh, Team Matt goes back to the competition Alex and I did. Uh, since I don't do hockey a ton, I'm not going to do a, um, a solo hockey page for it. So I'm just putting it on this spreadsheet here. But I have all my NBA bets, player props, NBA, MLB bets tracked here as well and then also the total. So this will be added to the sheet. This will be tracked. Um, so if you're tailing, I'd love to hear it. Uh, you can hit me up at my Twitter handle that you see on the screen here. You can also comment on the video like I mentioned before. Let me know you're tailing. Uh, definitely love the feedback. Other than that, would appreciate if you could subscribe to the IHDM YouTube channel. And that's all I got for you. So thanks for watching and have a good one.